So welcome back everyone. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Saturday. I want to share with you a few items that I found when I was thrifting today at St. Vincent de Paul, which is a thrift store I don't go to very often, but I happen to be out that way. So I thought I would stop in and see if I can find anything to use in decorating my fall cabinet, which I will include a link to two videos that I did yesterday sharing with you my fall cabinet. We're doing our china cabinet in our front sitting room and we did a few videos together uh, yesterday. We did a video together and then I shared with you last night what the one shelf that we have decorated already looks like um, in the evening. So as you know, or if you watch the video, you will know that the theme in this cabinet this year is leaves. And we're using all these transparent glass um, vases and candelabra pieces, candle holders and things like that to go inside the cabinet. So I'm on a search for transparent colored glassware. And so I really was so pleased with what I found today at St. Vincent de Paul. So I'm gonna start here first with these little brown chocolate colored glasses. So as you can see, they have like an ombre effect to them. They're darker at the bottom and then they're a little bit lighter at the top. And the thing I loved about these also is that they have this separate little piece here at the bottom. So it really gave it some interest. It, I think it made it look like a nice, interesting piece of glassware. These, this is a decorator's tip. These are perfect for tucking into all those little areas on a bookshelf or like we're going to in a cabinet or on your mantle or down your tablescape. You don't always have to go out and spend a fortune on um, votive or tea light candle holders. You can use something as beautiful and simple as something that would normally be used for drinking like glassware and line them up down your table or arrange them, you know, however you like. And these are just that perfect little piece that you can tuck in and nestle in and put a beautiful candle in. So I got four of them for a dollar. So I thought that was a really, really great deal. I love this deep, rich chocolate color. It's gonna work perfectly in the theme in my cabinet because this year, um, in the past, I've done, um, year before last, I did all neutral colors. Um, last year, I didn't do a ton of fall decorating. Um, and what I did do was just little bits and pieces. But this year, I am going with the traditional colors that you see in autumn the burnt oranges the the beautiful um reds the the dark chocolates the you know amber colors the yellows all those colors that you expect to see when the leaves change and the season becomes a new season of beautiful color that's what i'm using this year so these are perfect i got all four of them for a dollar i absolutely love these they're going to tuck in so beautifully when i add in my tea lights and i'll figure out where i'm going to use those in my cabinet and as i said in my video before i'm going to share with you as we decorate the other two shelves in the cabinet because so far we've only done one the next thing, I'll move on to the glassware since we're on that subject. I also found two of these, a little bit larger, but they are a sort of amber color. They have an orange and a yellow, and again, they also have that beautiful uh, dimension with the glass where they have the bottom, you know, here, and then the glass. And of course, all of these you could use for their obvious purpose of drinking, but I think they're perfect in decorating. And since the pieces that we've used so far uh, in this cabinet have been colored transparent glass, I was so excited to find more pieces and I'm not spending a fortune on it. I actually got each one of these for a quarter. All the glasses were a quarter a piece. So I got these two glasses for 50 cents and I got all four of these for a dollar. And I thought that was wonderful. You cannot beat that. So the other thing I found 
was this really pretty pumpkin. It's like sort of a plum color, um, but it's also has little hues of brown in there. And then it's got this like sort of natural looking uh, stem. And this was originally from Garden Ridge for $2.99. You probably can't see that, but just take my word for it. It was $2.99 from Garden Ridge and I got this for a quarter also. And it still had the sticker on it and it's in great condition. So I'll find somewhere to use that as well. And then all of this came from St. Vincent de Paul, by the way. If you watch my video or if you saw my video yesterday, I shared with you how I love to use candlesticks to um, allow you to get elevation. When you're doing decorating, like on a mantle, if you need to elevate a piece in the back, candlesticks are a beautiful way to do that. And when you use clear, simplistic candlesticks like these, it works even better. I don't want anything that's really ornate and crystally and all of that. I really love the basic, simple um, candlesticks that are clear glass. They just sort of blend in and they provide you the ability to elevate something on top of them. Outside of using them uh, as the obvious, you know, candle holder, you can use them to elevate all sorts of things. So I'm always happy when I can find these because some of the ones that I have um, that are like this, I've actually paid $10 for and I got this for $1.50. So I was so excited to find that because I'm always keeping my eye out for these. I also like the ones that have this type of a well because you can use it for a pillar candle, but you can also use it for a taper candle. Um, and it's just got a nice little, you know, spot there that if you have a cloche, I actually do have a cloche that's just about that size that I can set on top of it and put something underneath it as well. So these are always a must when you're out thrifting. I think those are one of the staple pieces that I always look for. So then I also found, and my husband laughs at me because he's like, you're like a collector of white ceramic pumpkins um, because I love them. I also found this really cute white ceramic pumpkin and has the cute little lid here. Um, and, you know, I picked this up. It was $1.25 and it's just really cute. Um, you can use it for a candy jar or whatever you want, but... Um, you know, you could even use it if you were doing a place setting, if you had something like this, if you had multiples. I have several of these, um, but they all look different. So um, there have been times in the past where I've done a vignette of all the different ones put together, the whites and the creams, and it looks really pretty. So I picked this up for $1.25. I thought it was really cute, and it's in absolutely perfect condition. The last thing I got, and the thing I was most excited about is because since this is technically a china cabinet, um, it is in a formal sitting room, um, I did want to add some sort of dishware. Uh, but I didn't want it to just be, you know, glasses and things like that. I wanted to add some sort of dishware because I wanted the cabinet to also have a little bit of what its intended purpose is for. And I found these beautiful, beautiful plates in this chocolate. And since our motif is leaves, how absolutely perfect is this? And they are made by Lori Gates and they have like a pale blue, you probably, you're not gonna be able to see that really, but they have a pale blue background and then in the front, they have these beautiful leaves on this gorgeous chocolate background. And they only had two, and that's exactly what I was looking for. So I feel like I totally scored on these plates, and they were 50 cents each. So for $1, I got these plates, which I would almost imagine, and I mean, you could Google it, um, and I just may, but you, I can imagine that this was probably a set that was um, pretty, you know, at least a decent price somewhere. 
And I think these are so, so gorgeous. And the fact that I spotted them in these beautiful, beautiful fall colors and they have the leaves on them. I was like, this is perfect. These were meant for me. My whole theme is leaves and these have beautiful leaves and they're a gorgeous, gorgeous dark chocolate for the fall season. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Um, when it comes time and we're going to decorate the next shelf, um, we'll do that together like we did before. And I'll share with you, who knows, maybe some of these pieces will end up in that video, but certainly they're going to end up in some video um, in the shelf. I plan to, that was the intended purpose of looking for the colored transparent glass was to use in the shelf. So I'll be using some of these pieces somewhere in that display. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. If you haven't done so, check out my video description for links to all my social media sites, my Instagram, my Pinterest, my Facebook, my website, uh, The At Home with Zane online store is on there. Go over and check that out. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll look for you the next time.